Hi, I'm Gleb from Tone Studios, and in this chapter, we're going to discuss how to develop mini app. First of all, when you start creating your application, you should know that by default, Telegram launch all the mini apps in a native Android and iOS component called Bottom Sheet. Uh, so this kind of component represents draggable from bottom to top block, uh, which appeared uh, by default and almost half screen of the uh, half size of the screen but for the users the most convenient way to explore and interact with your application is full screen mode so feel free to launch telegram.webapp.expand uh, function right away as you loaded the telegram sdk and your app is ready to go and when we're talking about telegram sdk functions or features. Don't forget to check the current version of user platform because Telegram deploys the updates asynchronously and users install or update their apps uh, gradually. So not all the users have the same version of the client and probably some of the features are not available at this uh, user client version. So before you're using new feature or new SDK, first of all, check the platform version, and then fire the event. And one more important thing, launch params. I ask you to install analytics to gather more info about the user behavior, to incentivize you, explore analytics, and create um, meaningful decisions based on analytics. And launch params from telegrams, it's a really important part of the info about how users interact with your app. Because with launch param, for example, you can track where the users launch this app, where they come from, and how they behave. So you can prioritize marketing channels where you acquire users. For example, you can use TG Web App Start Param. It's available both for bots and mini apps. You just add start attach param for the bot links and start up param for mini app links and then you track because now you know the source of traffic where it comes from 